Now, you guys know I am obsessed with Gymshark. One thing about Gymshark here, yeah, I be wearing my tracksuit everywhere. And for the girls who are a little bit on the thicky, thicky side, like this outfit is always given but i have something for you guys gymshark is doing their black friday sale right now with up to 70 70 percent off all their drip honestly if you miss this one you're silly billy and do you know what yeah let me even help you out if you use the code joyce if you use the code joyce you get an extra 10 percent off guys don't lack let me tell you gymshark is not just for the gym it's for the girls who want their bum to be bouncing in the leggings make sure you guys check it out and check out the rest of this episode per for she time kept saying did i did i do too much with angry Jane? and i was like are you joking danny Aris wasn't a resource <laughs> <laughs> I was so pissed off when I came out and I saw what they'd put in there. Because like we all, what we experienced in there was totally different to I feel like what they showed. It's cocktails and takeaways. good guys it's your girl madam joyce in the bizzle and it's been a minute but i am back in the <laughs> studio right now guys if you don't know where i've been the last couple of weeks i have been in the locked in house with for asylum and i am here to really really break down some of the situation and the tea listen you know about this show we only only drink cocktails and spill the tea but of course i had to bring some of my favorite motherfucking girls to do this with me <laughs> and i am here with honestly like it's it's so crazy how we came into the house as basically strangers and we has left and we have left as sisters stroke hoochie mama <laughs> gang <laughs> Guys, I am honored to, to introduce my motherfucking sisters, motherfucking Ash Holmes and Shannon Like That. Woo! Guys, I love that we both did this. <laughs> Can I just say, I missed the breast memo. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Like, just, baby, you got a, a zip. Just I want to zip, zip it down, it. but it's, like, it's, not, it's, a, it's, a, it's a track suit. Yep. It's a track suit. I want to get my boobs out. Is it, when has that stopped you? Yeah. No, do you know what? It's, <laughs> I, can, can I just talk about, let's just even go to, to locked in outfits. It was when they put me in those black Nike PE trainers <laughs> one day. Yeah. And yeah. I just yeah. said, listen, you're taking me for Egypt if you think I'm wearing them. They said, sorry, no other option. Literally, that, that was it. Why? I, it's like you have other options. Yeah. We, like you're a, you're a clothing shop. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I know you have boxes upon boxes of options. Yeah. Stop playing me. Yeah. They said, this is the outfit. Don't chat to us. Yeah. Basically, mm -hmm. this is the outfit. This is what you're yeah. going to wear today. We didn't have much option on what, on what the attire was going to be. Mm -hmm. So we had to basically give what we're gotten. Yeah. But guys, how the fuck are you feeling coming out of the locked in house? How are you feeling? Go on. <laughs> you go. go. On. I don't even, like, it was just, uh, well, obviously I came out before both of you, what, three, four days before you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. And, like, I was just so relieved to get out of that house. Honestly, when I walk out, you literally see it, like, leave my body. Mm -hmm. And it's just mad. Like, I was so happy to get out of there. And Ash, you were the one that voted Shan out. Yeah, Ash, how's that feel? <laughs> right, hey, <laughs> listen. <laughs> I don't think you're listening. <laughs> No, that was actually really no. awful. By the way, that's so mad that you say you came out four or five days. It felt like we were in there years mm. oh post God. you leaving. Like that's it's how true. slow time goes. I can't believe Deep it. Deep only four days. That's mad. That was it, yeah. But it was like, uh, when I came out, I, I just feel like it just went a shit show. Like mm -hmm. it was a shit show before. And when yeah. I came out, it was just absolute fuckery. Those four days felt like the longest four days I've ever experienced ever. in my life life yeah. what about you ash how are you feeling coming out do you know what i actually feel really good it's so weird like the whole thing feels like once you're out once you're in there all you can think that's all you know mm -hmm. is that space and that's mm -hmm. why we all said like it's such an intensified experience you're like oh my god i came out the womb and i landed in this house and now i'll be here forever that's how it feels yeah. and then you get out and do, do you agree like a few days at home 
and it feels like the whole thing was a fever dream yeah, yeah. and never happened like, agreed i was yeah. like what was that it mm-hmm. was a it was a proper memory was for that? me yeah. it was yeah. it was it started to get foggy it's like did that actually happen yeah, yeah. like sometimes like, i've been watching some of the the episodes back and i was like no we actually really really did that yeah. but like watching the episodes do you feel like the energy they, they captured the energy well no. in that no, no. <laughs> Instantly, really? No. Instantly, no. 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 I was so pissed off when I came out and I saw what they'd put in there. Because, like, we all, what we experienced in there was totally different to, I feel like, what they showed. Mm-hmm. Really? Totally different. Mm. Yeah. It was I was upset by it. Yeah. We who? Yeah, I was upset really? by it. Really? Yeah. What, at, like, how they depicted you as a person or just generally? Just the general house. Really? Like, general house, yeah. I was up, yeah, I was just like, we had, I think, from what I understood, maybe not now, but like from what I saw, we went in there. There was like we were all just like when everyone gathered around my jail, and like yeah. they cut yeah. that. They cut like some of the talks I had with Sugar. So I'm sure they cut some of the talks you had with Sugar, and some of the talks I had were really good. Oh, same, same, same. And like I just, I just think like if you cut that, like just some of the energy, I just mm. feel like it wasn't there. Yeah, I think obviously they they they're trying to depict like the most chaotic and mm-hmm. energetic parts. But for me, the house was just so loving. Mm-hmm. Like I felt like everybody got on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I felt like yeah. we all come from different worlds, but coming together, like I just felt the house worked. Mm-hmm. Nobody felt like, oh my God, like this person, I'm, I'm feeling a type of way, this person. Yes, we had a little tiff here and there, but, but, but barely, 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 girl, barely. But we all I got think on. that's why we're a TV show or YouTube show, whatever's, Kind of worst nightmare, really. Yeah, because we all got on. Yeah, mm-hmm. you, we all got on really well. Like, shows do well when there's drama and mayhem and yeah. this and that and fights. And unless they were secret challenges, we did not have yeah. one scrap in there. Unless like, no they, one. We there was hard, no yeah. real scrap. We no one had it. Nobody, so. nobody had a scrap. No. Nobody. And I felt like everybody was just... At the time, I yeah. thought everybody was just good vibes mm-hmm. and we just all got on and just gelled. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But like, you're talking about different moments that wasn't put on air. Is there any moment that comes out to say, do you know what? Yeah, that was a sick moment for me, but girl, they didn't even post that shit. Definitely. I'll, I'll tell you, you one. Yeah, you go. The, right, listen. <laughs> wow, she's got it. The Blood Clark Talent Show, okay? I put my heart, my soul, my blood, sweat, tears, and pussy clot into that performance. Yeah. There were so many fun clips from that day. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember, of like... practicing. We were practicing yeah. for time. Time. Why did they not put that bit in of when I was up in the bedroom? And that I... was the funniest. Why did they sh- not put that in? So this was... Do you remember? Yeah. When Shannon came up to me and went, oi, 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 I need to chat to you about my, my performance. <laughs> <laughs> I went, oh, sweat, let's go and have a talk. Yeah. Bear in mind, there's... 65,000 cameras in the house. There's a camera on every angle. Every so we angle. know it got there, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We went into a little room by ourselves. Went into the, the luxury room. Yeah. yeah. And you went, tell me if this is a clapped idea. <laughs> she said she was going to remix the Lloyd's TSB thing <laughs> with Eminem. I said, that's unbelievable. <laughs> Foo. Foo was in the to toilet. You. I sung it to her. I just came out with this, this yeah. like mad thing. And then we left. She did a private performance for me. Private. Yeah. And then Foo was left. on the toilet doing a shit, which was so funny. He then came out. We didn't know. She went, shit, everyone's going to know my idea. <laughs> Foo came out and just went, that's a mad thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. And it was such a funny interaction. Like all of that yeah. lead up. Yeah. I just felt like. So there was so much build up to things mm-hmm. that was really funny in our eyes and we yeah. remember it as being really funny. That just isn't shown. And obviously I get timing, like you have only got what, 50 minutes? 50 to an minutes, hour. Yeah. yeah. So I get it, you have to pack everything in. But there was so much, I think like context, yeah, so, yeah, that so was much like missing. Yeah. 24 hours in a day. Yeah. That, when I mean the, the day was so stretched and it's so yeah. interesting because the, the moments that I didn't think they'd put in, girl, yeah. they, put, they put it in. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Yeah, and also when Foo said, I'm gonna pot and pan you fam, was honestly one of the funniest moments of my life. They put in, like, it was nighttime and they were all <laughs> getting their pots and pans out and everything. And Star was like, which they didn't put in either, did they? They didn't put in Can much we of the talk pots and about pans. the motherfucking nighttime? Right, <laughs> exactly. A whole miss narrative. Every Ma- yeah. night. Mad. Every night. <laughs> yeah. Foo Stars, KC10, would wake up and just decide. <laughs> 
chaos. Yes. And bearing in mind, it's a long day. Like we're waking up, we don't know, crack a dawn, like my eye is crusty mm -hmm. all the way to the night. Mm -hmm. And then these lot wanna start banging pots and pans. Oh they my. fucked up the pots and pans as well. Yeah, to the point they used oh to break. My, yeah. the, to the point where we couldn't cook with our cooking yeah. utensils <laughs> because <laughs> it was all it was all bumper yeah. All of the pots bent, and pans. Bent stars would have a have a have a um tin tomato on the side. <laughs> yeah, he, had, he had grenade yogurts had ready to whip off the lid and just throw. Grenade yogurts yeah. ready yeah. to throw. There was one time I just carried myself upstairs. That was the I said, fuck. I need to mind my business here. We need to talk about that. <laughs> yeah. We need to talk. Have we spoken about your speech yet? I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> That's the speech. The speech. That's right. The speech. <laughs> so here's the tea. Joyce, every night, it was like a known thing, wasn't it? Yeah. Once she puts her bonnet on, she's done. Done. Well, don't chat to me. The so night is done. Tired. Actually, even in the morning, until the bonnet comes off. Yes. Done. I'm tired. Done. Yes, yes, yes. Tired. Bonnet's True. on, there's, there's done. Yes. Yeah. You're not ready for filming. You're no. not ready for the day just yet. Yeah. Right. I need to defrost. It's a conversation. Agreed. No, yeah, I need to none. defrost. Yeah. It was so funny because I knew that she was gritting her teeth every night. She used to wrap herself in three duvets <laughs> while <laughs> chaos and feralness is happening in the yeah. in the house, right? And she wrapped herself in duvets and I just thought she's a ticking time bomb. Yeah. At some <laughs> point, <laughs> she's going to blow. And it was one night where they were just going mad. Hell. And they just would not stop. And then some, do you know what it was? Do you know what that for me? Somebody threw cheat. Someone threw something on the bed. Usually I leave these lot alone. Because yes. somebody now thought, let me bring Joyce involved. And yeah. they now came to pick. No, it surely was, that was not on purpose. Because there's no, no someone Someone threw grated cheese. <laughs> Onto it, was my, it was ten. It was Tennessee. Tennessee threw cheese onto my bed. And Grated said, cheese nah. at like I'm gonna say like three a.m. I said nah. We have no idea. We, we it's also have no ten, idea. Ten yeah, it probably was yeah. ten. And we thought it, it was, was three, three a.m. No oh god. Idea. Oh god. Yeah. But oh god. the way that jo it was so funny because I knew I thought oh my god. No, no, no. We <laughs> it, fucked it. It was me, you, and then Joyce. Yeah. And me and Ash are just like. Like it was. It was a push and pull between us. It was fun to watch, but like also we wanted to sleep. Yeah. Oh. We were, yeah, we were like, my man's telling me no for my body. Because we were kind of like, I want to be involved, but also rest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I want to be involved. Yeah. So we would just come out every now and again of our duvet, crease, and go back. <laughs> yeah. Like, we didn't get too, too involved in it. When the cheese landed on Joyce's Brother. bed, I saw the bonnet levitate like this <laughs> in slow motion. Wait, Look at the way my feet are off the thing. <laughs> 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 I rose up. She rose, she rose like this. I rose. And From the depths. Everyone went silent because they thought we fucked it. <laughs> she just goes, no, she sits up and she goes, just tell me one thing. Yes. yes. I have a question. Said, I, have I have a, a question. question. I have a question. Yeah. I have a question is one of the greatest speeches I've ever heard. I have a question. I have a dream. Yes. 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 Exactly <laughs> that. They're on par. I can't fathom. Do you know what? Yeah. I, people have different comedy and banter, right? <laughs> I can't fathom that you throwing cheese <laughs> and banging pans is exciting funny. to you. It's right. funny. And throwing, after a while, yeah, of course, after a while, but yeah. we're talking about four days straight. Yeah. You lot are throwing pillars, throwing, t uh, th and it's not even, it, it wasn't even like you were throwing food. No. You were putting sweet corn underneath people's pillow. And but you know, not, but not even, just full cans. Full cans. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. was thinking, for the first three days, I was thinking, I must be boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. must be boring because I'm trying to find the humor in this. In this. Yeah. And I can't find it. <laughs> but the oh. I have a question speech, she rose and she just said, I have a question. And everyone like, went. And I said, Dawn. I said, do you not actually <laughs> find this? entertaining like i had to yeah. i had to funk i had to ask the question because it's like is this actually <laughs> fun to you lot like and I it's when you rounded it off with because some of you in here are 31 yeah. and everyone <laughs> just went <laughs> oh gosh i can't i can't fathom <laughs> someone oh, is 31 years old no pick up food yeah putting tins underneath <laughs> 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 Am I boring? No. <laughs> Am I boring? But do you know what? And honestly, after after um Shan left, I did actually get involved. But when I got involved, oh everybody ran away. They you didn't know, watch. Do you know about this? No. I so don't. I got involved in Gotham, right? 
I got, I, on the last <laughs> night, Gotham Joyce, I got, not. but no, it was it was the Gotham of all Gothams because I got oh, involved. I've heard well because when I walked in there, I said, "What's that smell?" Yes, <laughs> they said that. Oh, it's this. So these lot were doing tin tomatoes on mm. the pillow and all this stuff, and I said, "Okay, the last it was the last night before the um before the final <laughs> before the final day," and I said, "Okay, I'm gonna see you what I want." So. I now woke up, everybody was throwing pillows. I said, nah, this is too much. I started filling the pillows with water, throwing people at it. Then wet obviously, pillows. wet pillows, throw wet room. pillows. No. Then I now ran to the kitchen and then food was there and I just started throwing ketchup at him, throwing eggs. eggs. You see, all, all the Gotham you people just- You were throwing ketchup in it? No, yeah. no, no, it was crazy. As Ash, was, we, Ash was getting we, hit. We, me. I put shaving foam up my sleeve. <laughs> George whacked me with a pillow so hard that it actually hurt my nose. I went upstairs and I pretended I had a nosebleed. Listen, this is crafty. No, she ate, you ate, ate that. that. You ate, ate that. It. You ate that. I came, I put shaving. No, I put shaving foam up my sleeve, went down with holding my nose like this, and I said, George, you really hurt me. He went, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Let me have a look. Shaving foam in the face. <laughs> Boom. 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 <laughs> Boom. Don't Boom. believe me. Listen. I am a true liar. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> We were, and then that's oh when Joyce just came alive. I just, I just, uh, because wow. I was like, this to me is not, this to me is not fine, but this shit, what I'm doing right yeah. here, that we do right here. She went in. I went in, throwing eggs everywhere. There was like literally egg all over the wall. There to was the ketchup all over the wall. Even Danny. Like Danny stood to the side. He didn't want it. Stood to the side. He didn't want it. He didn't want it. He said, no. this, is, this is, this is above me. Yeah. Wow. He said, this is too much. And everyone went. Now we know why you haven't been involved. <laughs> because <laughs> yeah. you take it this from here. Because yeah. yeah. if I'm gonna play, oh honey, I'm a player. Yeah. I'm, yeah. A, I'm a motherfucker. Yeah. But speaking of mess, Sean, let's talk about the let's talk about the, the cleanliness of the house. Let's talk Flex. about the cleaner because I know this is something that really grinded your gears. Which is something my first thing my mum said uh, came out to me. She, she was like, Why were you the clean one? Like she couldn't believe it. You kept saying that. You were yeah, like, My mum's like, not gonna, gonna believe, gonna believe this. this. I'm a changed woman. <laughs> She's In growth. It. Growth. 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 Yeah. Being in there with the, all of you made me grow. How bad was the house? Awful. Awful. It was it was so bad. But I tell you what, Joyce, the last day we came in for the for the final shoe, mm -hmm. that house stank. <laughs> and that's on you. <laughs> it that's is. on you. No, it was the it eggs. Is. It was actually the eggs. And but the ketchup. The the house was so It was horrible. Do you know what? Yeah, can I just do you know what used to irk me? Because what? when you wake up in the morning yeah, and you're making toast. And I know the person who keeps doing it, but I'm not going to say the person's name. You're making toast, yeah. You've put peanut butter, you've put honey, you've slapped everything. You've taken your plate and you've left all the crumbs. You've left the jam. Oh. You've left the butter. You've left the peen. And that person did it every single time. And it used to hurt me because it's like, when you finish, you should just clean up. I want to know. You should so just bad. clean up and just go. Every time. Like, I felt like, I, your girl. I'm not even gonna say okay. it. You already know they're beating my ass on the internet. Yeah, yeah, I, don't, yeah I don't, fair, I don't fair, need, fair, I don't fair. need any more. Fair. Fair. No like, more heat. But also, our dishwasher broke. Oh yeah, the dishwasher, dishwasher broke. Dishwasher broke day two. It was E21 error code. <laughs> yeah, so it I was said, E21 error code. Them, I said sorry, you've got an E21 error code. That, producer Sharon came out. E21 error code. And I said, I've had this error code before. You need to get it fixed. It's She's the draining. It's the draining. System. Honestly, the the, the clean. But to be honest, on to be fair with us, other seasons had cleaners every time. I think Did that's they? an urban myth. Yeah, I don't really? Think that is it, babe? <laughs> really? I know first from each season. day when. No worries, the cleaner's gonna come in. And I thought, oh, she's in oh for dear. a long two weeks. Oh really? Yeah, but I they thought didn't. the other season had chefs, cleaners. Because we got our lunch brought to us every day as well. Yeah. They didn't have that either. They had to cook all their meals and everything. Like the takeaway system wasn't a thing in the last few years. It was none, none of it. No cleaners, really? no, no nothing. Yeah. We actually had an all right time then in that sense. Yeah. As in bar the cleaning bit. And bar the cleaning bit. The we food got, bit was not that yeah. bad. The food bit wasn't So bad people don't know, we didn't we didn't cook all the time. Mm. Like we had our challenges or whatever, but like in the lunchtime, mm -hmm. they used to bring lunch for us and it will be a rotation of jack of potato, kebab. <laughs> what else was there? It's giving us a girl Jackie, dinner. Girl, <laughs> you'd have the kebab the wrap. wrap. No, the spicy, the spicy one. wrap. Yeah. Yes. And there was one other just in the in a a pasta. rotation. And pasta. And pasta. It's either pesto or tomato. Mm. Yeah. In rotation. <laughs> Mm -hmm. In rotation, I did not Bland. shit. Me and Shan didn't shit for the first five days. When everybody was doing skiddy turn, skiddy food, I said it can't, it can't be me. Literally, physically can't be me. It physically can't be me. I didn't shit for six days. The day you left was the day I shat. Honestly, the medic, 
Oh, overworked. Overworked. Overworked, underpaid. Yes. I think yeah. he's paid. That man drives an Aston Martin. Oh, that yeah. man is paid. Probably, yeah. He was the maddest. He was the, the maddest. And what did he say when we pulled him up on it? We go, is that your Aston Martin? He goes, oh yeah, I've got the... The tennis. Jeep, the, 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 what did he say? He had another car. He had he like goes, a, yeah, another really nice another car, car. He had the Aston Martin hat and the matching shoes. Yes, I he said, did. What, I said, what kind of medic is he this? He also yeah. had branded, sh- everything Bougie, was branded. The yeah. bougiest medic. It all said Gary the medic on it like this. He honestly was the <laughs> best. And after the dog bites, it's... Oh. We, have, we, we spoke about dog bite on yours, Let's okay? talk about mothers yeah. we did. I don't, let's talk about it the dog bite let's situation yeah. do you know what before we even get to that because i don't even want let, let, let's leave let's me let's leave me for a second <laughs> I wanna, uh, let's leave me for a second because my own is another the issue let's talk about the emotional process of the house emotional like damage. emotionally from one to from one to 14 or one to seven or wherever we dropped off what was it like for you guys Shan first. I mean, like I like I mean I've said before, like I think I came down on day two. I I was obviously very ill as well. Yeah. We used to, like I was very ill while I was in there. But day two I came down. I think you were all in bed. I think it was ten Casey and Star that was up. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I just don't think this is for me. Mm-hmm. I just it's just not for me. Yeah. Mm. And I made it till day nine. We had so we like, had honestly, I feel like we bonded Joyce. off your trauma. <laughs> <laughs> Joyce, when you came back in, I mean I've known much before, but like when you came back in um, from your little brief interval mm-hmm. and you came back in you sat me down and you were like you gave me that talk which they cut and they only left a bit of Danny coming over and apologising mm-hmm. and I wish they'd left that chat in that's actually one that's probably my one thing I wish they'd left in because you gave me a new sense of well-being a new sense of life like I could continue once you'd given yeah. me that chat and I was like fuck me like I had no idea how much I needed that Yeah. and it's like clearly you'd been off camera you'd seen what I was actually like, like on camera, and then come back in and been like, right, let's talk this through. It's interesting because I didn't. They actually didn't show me much. They didn't show me anything. How in did fact. you even know then I was feeling that way? Because we had a conversation before. Before you left. Before we left, I knew that you were feeling down. And I, I mean, mm-hmm. I'm an energy person anyway. I was just about to say. I'm Joyce such a spiritual person. I just, I just sense things. Yeah. And I knew that you were bad. And prior to that, you had been going to Ash and you've been crying in the toilets and you've been coming back and you've been having a hard time. And then the whole challenge <laughs> Me thing. Me crying? No, I don't believe it. Girl, you <laughs> honestly, I probably, it got to the point. <laughs> could we be real, girlies? It got to the point where. We were crying every other day. I cried every day from day two. What? Yeah, in the toilet, I cried every day from day two. I think we cried, towards the end, we were crying almost every day. It got to the point every every day, every other day, or it's like, if I should be crying, I'd be comforting her, then I would be crying, and and then I should be comforting me. Like, it was emotionally one of the roughest things we all had to go through. Mentally, it was so hard. Mentally, it was hard. What was hard about it for you, Ash? Do you know what? I think being in that environment just made me realise I need stimuli. Yeah. Like, I need, I feel inspired by, like, people, by places, by doing things. Like, I cannot stare at the four walls and then have someone be like, so, what's funny about the house being messy? I'm like, it's not funny. <laughs> We're living like Oliver <laughs> Twist. Yeah. We are all down bad. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like... You know, you and, and then, then you're aware. And go, oh, we need more energy in the challenges. What? Well, I'm literally, I've, I've given you everything, everything. I have. Yes. Like, everything. And you're thinking, yeah. we're living in squalor yeah. for 14 Honestly, days. Honestly, there were some times on energy. camera that energy. I could see it in our faces that we were down bad. Yeah. So we'd, we'd go through the, we'd go through like, We'd have we'd we'd go for an anxiety evening mm-hmm. of just like I honestly I'll I'll have it told you guys but I was having panic attacks every night from day ten. What you? I was having panic attacks every night. Oh, I left on day nine. That makes sense. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Girl, my rack wasn't there. Yeah, I was having uh, panic attacks every night because the it was me feeling like mm-hmm. I wanted to go home, mm-hmm. but also feeling like. You should be grateful to be here. Mm. Yes. Why are you mm-hmm. complaining? Mm-hmm. Why are you so ups? Why are you upset? Mm. This is your dream, and it was just that guilt trip that, that was just. Was you. I felt like that was a constant conversation. That was that a constant had. conversation because it's like, and because you can't be upset in hiding. You're yes. upset in front of the people yeah. who yeah. put you yeah. in that space. Yeah. So that I was the problem that I had as well. Yeah. Like not being able to be upset or be like just ha- take a minute. Yeah. Like there was yeah. no way you could take a minute. Like I remember when we went upstairs and I was crying, and. 
we, you, I took you upstairs into the bathroom, mm-hmm. and producers came in, knocked on the door instantly. Girls, only one toy person. Uh, yeah, toilet, literally. What do you mean? You'd um, be me. I should be crying in the toilet. Uh, can we? Can you stop covering your mics, please? Girl, yeah. she's in tears. What and I'm like, mean? I'm like this. Little do they know. Yeah. What do we guys? Used to call- I feel like con- people need context. So basically, the bathroom was the only, the place, only place in the whole room in the with house. no cameras. And once you had your mics off. That was the only place where you could safely have a menti B. So <laughs> the conversations that-, <laughs> that we had when you were in the bath and I was sat on the toilet. Yeah. The- I'm telling you that how close we all got in that house. Yeah, Ash in that one in the bath. bathroom, but yeah. naked, all of but us naked, naked. Yeah. in that filthy, in the in the toilet. That filthy in bathroom. The filthy you'll bathroom. see pubic hair on the floor. Yeah, you will see people's pants, yeah. dirty yeah. towels, and that's where we had to to go. Yeah, where would we, where do we call it? The big batty chambers. Big batty <laughs> chambers. <laughs> We'd call it the big batty chambers. To the point where, if any of us were feeling down, like by the end, me and Joyce would would literally say to each other. BBC, 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 and that's meet me in the big batty chambers because I'm about to cry. Yeah, Can and, you imagine? and then Ash would have to go first, and then I'd have to go after. Yeah, as soon so they as didn't they pick up on it, so they didn't pick up. They're going time. to. If we walked up those stairs together, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Joyce, Ash, can you? You'll hear it. You'll hear We've the. We've told sugar. you several times. Do you not have private conversations? Do you not have pri- it, yeah. And sometimes we we needed that. Yeah. Because it was hard, it. and then you'd have to go to the challenge room, and then you have to perform. Yeah. You'd literally have to come in and be like. Like, oh, this is the challenge today. So imagine day nine, you'd go into the challenge room and they're telling you, day nine, you're already down bad. Mm-hmm. They'll tell you, go and sit in a box. <laughs> oh, no, day 10, that was day 10. Day 10, day 10. go and sit inside this box. I've, ne- I've never <laughs> been so pissed off. Honestly, I can imagine it because like, it was like boiling, boiling, boiling. And yes. You're going to like, it, the pressure in there to mm. entertain, the pressure to be on constantly mm-hmm. is so much. And then you're told you're not doing good enough. Yes. Then you're told, you're, you're trying your best and you're told, oh, you need to just be more, more energy, energetic. More, more energy, energy, more, more passion. passion. More passion. <laughs> ah, exactly. More passion. Yeah. Keep going. Literally. Keep going. And, it's and like, you're I understand like, they're trying to be like cheerleaders. They're like, you can do this, guys. But it's mm-hmm. like, no, I, I actually can't. Yeah. Like, I've given you what I have and you're saying it's not good enough. It was that. <laughs> I so can't do it. I've got the fact that our catchphrase was Ian Beale, I've got nothing yeah. left. Yeah, literally. And that's all everyone said in rotation. In rotation. Yeah. Every day. There was a point in, in the season where we all, we all sat, we sat down and it was dead silent. And yeah. I used to say, guys, let the silent run. Let the silent sit. Let the silent sit. Let the silence and we sit. sat in silence and then you hear the God voice. Uh, Ash, do you want to do Big Batty? Uh, ah! What was that? What was that? So, so wait, wait. <laughs> yes. it was on a day where when I tell you, there was no charisma left in the room. Hell. Like everyone. Was it Max Kadar day? I think it was after, this was like the day before the final. Okay. Yeah. So when I tell you, everyone was sitting there like a waxwork, <laughs> Madame Two Swords like this, not speaking. We were all like this. For, for ages, for yeah. like in that living room, you know, and we're all just sinking into those yeah, 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 yeah. bloody bean bags. <laughs> and she just went, the, the, obviously, we were all thinking there is no show. You yeah. can't even make an hour show out of this. Yeah. Because it's hell. All of a sudden, I hear on the fucking tannoy, Ash, please would you get everyone to engage in Big Batty Work Camp? Oh, oh literally. I said, Was that that day? So like, yes. Yeah. Prior to that, and I'm looking at there's everyone's... There's no chance you know you haven't got any energy when you're watching Big Batty Bag. Whatever. Big Batty really? Boot Camp. Yeah. I Big Batty was camp. Yeah. in hell. It looks like you've got energy to give. Really? Yeah. Oh, God. It was empty energy. It was. It was yeah. We was tired. We was tired. That was lies and deceit. As in, when I tell you I looked at everyone, oh, my God, I looked at everyone. Everyone just went... Mm. <laughs> and I went, I don't know. I think they're trying to get some content out of us. Everyone just went... We have to do it. I, like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I went, sugar, do I have to do it? She went, yes. yes. I thought. <laughs> I've got that got laughing, yes, lad. And then I've got to get Danny Aarons to say, put a booty band on and let's go. But not going to lie. One thing I love about you, Ash. Ash, <laughs> like... Ash could be feeling so down, <laughs> but she you will never see it in her face. Yeah. She's and she was always as well. You always like laugh or like smile when she, you're you will yeah, laugh. So yeah. if you're like you annoyed, s- it's just like <laughs> fuck off. Like you just you yeah, say yeah, it with, like, yeah, a smile. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's nice. Yes. Yeah. Not, so even in that situation, of course, like in that because it was her leading, she brought mm. everybody up. Yeah. Because we were so low. But in even when Ash mm. is feeling bad, she will always just bring the light, bring the performance, bring, and then she'll go, we'll go to BBC Chamber and be crying. <laughs> but, 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 
but practice <laughs> but we'll just perform like like honestly the last couple of days mm. you were literally my rock mm-hmm. like you I, were made for you me, were my <laughs> rock nah. i don't know how i would have continued mm. without you like no honestly i don't know how i would have continued about you but you know everyone literally <laughs> described it as trauma bonding yeah it <laughs> no was, it, it, was, it was trauma bonding let's be real, it, was, it, 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 it was it was we became so close so quickly just trauma bonding yes that's what it was yeah no seriously but what like what what, what were the good parts for you what were the best moments for you do you know what? I've never, I must say, there were times where I'm like, I am laughing. Yeah. Non stop. You yeah. know, when like that, like belly ache, yeah. laughter. And I love that feeling. And like, you know, when you're with a group of people that you really get on with as well, mm-hmm. and like the laughter starts to trail, then somebody says another joke and then another one. And everyone's yeah. like, ah! <laughs> like yeah. that it was, was great. It. Like, Every, yeah. ev- like, we'd have, conv- can I just say, we, the most, of our filming was done outside mm-hmm. because we were <laughs> are we going to say it are we going to say it what what we were doing outside oh yeah yeah oh, say yeah, it yeah, yeah, yeah. we were vaping to bum <laughs> <laughs> i tell you six people went in vapors all ten nine came, came out nine no, came out once. fine i was like it's not for me but listen you have asthma a, can't take. even a puff pass counts okay fine ten came out ten came out yeah that's the only. There's no rum, no night, rum and coke. Yeah. I begged for rum and coke every day. No rum and coke. We'd, yeah, yeah. That's all we like a choo choo like train. Like a choo choo train. We need there's something to it help was. us cope. Cope in mechanism. It and if was. you wanted something not said to camera, you just hold a vape up and just say it. And oh, they, they were getting they, so annoyed. They could at put us. It in. I'm yeah. just gonna say they are never bringing vapors into that. They're house never again. letting no, no, never, ever, never. At ever. the end, it was like one person can go out and vape at a time. You can't all go. They out said we're never, we're not having vapors it was again. Ra- but it's like it's we, like, no. yeah. I said also, <laughs> yeah. In it, who the hell are you gonna buy? It's gonna be not yeah, one how, man. How are we gonna be available for the, <laughs> show? <laughs> on the show? Honestly, <laughs> honestly, we were sit- we used to sit down and just run jokes obviously a lot of it wasn't seen because we were we, we, we were doing things we weren't supposed to be yeah, doing yeah 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 but honestly the banter was so amazing mm. like everybody was so funny and mm-hmm. we just used to just bounce off each other bounce yeah. off. and then we'd have running jokes throughout yeah. the, the the season but they couldn't really put those in because the original like origin of the joke was said while we were vaping yeah yeah so here we are complaining about yeah. why they didn't put all our banter bits in and yeah. that's why because because i should be like yeah i'm a hoochie mama uh, yeah and have we- the, the pink in honestly with my blue blue raz, lost Mary like this. Oh, nah, we were. <laughs> the d- night you were teaching, also the night you were teaching us how to shake our little. Oh, as well. Yeah. Yes. Was they didn't put that in? Did they not? They didn't put that, that was in. Such the first, a funny the time. first BBC we went, boot we camp. Went insane. We did. I was up on the wall. Was I, I had there? my feet up on the wall. Yeah, we were all there. Night, no, no, it was the night you weren't there. Oh, was the I was not there. The one night you weren't there, one and night we were all there. saying. Joyce is literally head hoochie mama. Like, thank she God, would be like, thank so God lit. you weren't there because there's no way I could have formed up against it. Yeah. <laughs> I could have. It's true, it's true. I you would have got knocked out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. First round. Boosh. Yeah. Honestly, it's given a musical chairs. Jesus Christ. That. I saw the video of that. I saw I saw the video of me doing musical chairs and I nearly died because I actually nearly I nearly I just seen musical chairs. What was musical chairs? It was um, musical sh- chairs it was sh- so Sugar Lips' birthdays. <laughs> So let's talk about our housemates. Yeah. Who did you think was the biggest character in the house? Or characters, because there were so it's, many. It's got to be you. Yeah. Like, definitely you. I would say Fu. Fu. I don't Fu. think Fu got the airtime that he deserved. Agreed. And yeah. then I think Ten at the beginning, she slid right into that villain sort yeah. of thing. And then I think she... I think she, I don't know, I feel like she puts on this, I said this to her, like, I feel like she puts on this mm-hmm. persona of, like, I'm the villain, blah, 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 blah. And then you, she softens up once you get to yeah. know her and she yes. becomes more comfortable. Yeah. She just softens. Mm-hmm. And I think then after that, she just became more, like, comfortable. More comfortable and chill. There was a really oh, nice Danny, but... moment of you two, actually, when you had that big heart to heart. Do you remember? Wait, they on camera or no? I, no, I don't think it was. I remember it, though. Yeah, yeah. And you and Ten, it was when Ten got upset over the comment. Oh yeah, and we a were all it, yeah, 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 yeah. we yeah. were all kind of just saying like, 
10, bro, it's cool. Like, mm -hmm. be upset. You don't have to yeah. be a villain We were every sitting day. down when yeah. she was crying. Yeah. yeah, we all came together. Yeah, I remember that. And you basically said, you know what's so funny? Like, you've really surprised me, Ted. And she was like, what? What do you mean? And you were like, I thought you were a bit of a hard nut to crack. Yeah, like, I thought, she, I mean, I was convinced she hated me for four or five days. I can't believe Con you thought that. I mean, I came to you. Yeah, I know. And I said, I'm sure Tennessee hates me. Do this you know, was a big Batty yeah, Chambers chat. This was mm. a big Batty Chambers chat. Yeah. And I feel, <laughs> it was. Do you know what? I, I know a lot of girls like Ten. Mm. And I think I, I've, I've met Ten once. She's come on my show before. Mm. And I know how it can be for a woman to have that when you don't know people, you just put on the front, like, yeah. And especially it's like, don't, especially when you feel like you're about to be attacked, mm -hmm. you just kind of like, just shut down. It's like, well, I'm going to come for you first before you come mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. And I feel like 10 was that. So a lot of times like 10 would be sharp or 10 would say something like cheeky, but I never took offense to it. Cause it's like, I kind of know, I knew her personality. Yeah. I've seen it before, but for someone that didn't know, you'd feel like that. Like she doesn't mm -hmm. like it. And I remember having the conversation. I was like, girl, you're, you're, you're getting in your head a bit, but, yeah. but she's, she's just like, like that yeah like, that's how 10 is you shouldn't take offense to it yeah i said it to her i said like i'm, I'm sure you hate me the first days and she was like she was like hey well tell me what i did because she was like i'm clearly doing something wrong because she was like tell me what i did and so i had to like talk her through and be like look you, you acted like this like you didn't like blah blah and i think i just said to her i just mm. think you're leaning into your villain era and then she yeah just and 10 is very much a sort of speak i don't speak unless i'm spoken to yeah so and i'm the type of person i'll come up to be like oh my god hi my name is Joyce. And I'm like <laughs> yeah, i'm yeah, that yeah, type yeah, of person yeah, yeah. And then th that's when she starts warming up. Yeah. But I mm -hmm. definitely feel like she was she was very misunderstood. Mm -hmm. But was it? What, but for me, I had a great time mm. in the house with her. Yeah, me too. Which other characters? I was Fu. Someone said Fu didn't get enough airtime. Yeah, I don't think he did. I know. What What the hell was that about? Because for us, I think like we we will all agree on this. Fu was like Fu was the group leader, the group leader. He was. Like, we trust, didn't yes, in Fu yeah, we yeah, trust. Yeah. There was no house without Fu in my eyes, and that's why I found that elimination hell. Cr yeah, it was hell. It was and shocking. Immediately as I made my decision, I was like, "Fuck what?" I was like. I don't know. Fu can't go. There is no house without Fu. Mm. He was the one that navigate. He, I would say he was the navigator. So yeah. when it came to the conversations, mm -hmm. when it came to bringing us together, mm -hmm. I felt like Fu was very much the glue to how we all came together and just had a conversation. Like mm -hmm. Fu's the type of person he can stand in a certain of the room and when he speaks, you listen. Yeah. Like he does. He like, is, yeah. You listen. You do. There'll be times where we'll be having conversations like yeah. amongst ourselves outside. And you'll hear Fu's voice, and yeah. you're just so you're just drawn to him. Like yeah. you're it's, just drawn to is, him speak. Yeah. Like it was, it was, it was very interesting to always see that. But mm. to then see that he didn't get that mm -mm. airtime mm -hmm. was was quite sad to see. Because I would say, out of everybody, he definitely was. He's such a command the room, yeah. big dick energy. Big person. dick energy, yeah, agreed. He's got big dick energy. He, he do, has. he do, he I've do. I've never thought about that. <laughs> yeah, 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 and on that and note. I don't want to do it, I don't want to do it again. She said, I, she said, I thought about it, and then I'm unthinking about well, it. Well, yes. I'm thinking, yeah. I've been thinking about yeah. it. Speaking of big dick energy, oh, let's dear. talk about Mr. Danny Aaron's oh, because okay. we, we had a moment, Ash. We. <laughs> Where you two went was mad. Do you know what? Okay. Can Where we, you <laughs> went was mad. Uh, can we be candid? Can we be candid? This Go is on. CNT. We don't lie. Go on. I kind of don't take it back. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Okay. Worth five, oh. six days in. We're hoochie mamas. Listen, check Asha's phone. See who's there. <laughs> when she steps when she steps into the scene with the breasts out, see who's looking. Yeah. The man them want ash. Mm. <sighs> the man them need ash. Mm. You come into that house. Where's the hoochie daddies? <laughs> no, not one. No. Tumbleweeds. The, where's the hoochie daddies? Everyone was a taken man. Everybody mm. was a taken man. And every girl was a single girl. And every girl was a single girl. That, that is a bizarre. waste. That is bizarre. Yes. Okay, but also, I'm curious. If you're like your your <laughs> man had like walked in there, your perfect man. Oh, would I have done it too? Would you have gone in the house? Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> My, I would, would you? Have, listen, would you have gone it, for it in the it house? Thumbs been... up to the camera. Oh, you would. Oh, had sex? No, hell no! no, no I thought you meant would I fall in love. I was saying would I fall in love? 
I would. So basically, that was this thumbs up thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think so people know about funny. the thumbs up. No. So they came into when when we first came to the production meeting, they were like, okay, guys, um, you know, everybody, everything's gonna be filmed. If you guys want to have sex, um, we've got condoms here. Just make sure before you do it, just so we know that you've all consented. Put your thumbs up like this. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Bear in mind, I didn't even know that was an allowed thing Me when either. they because they said it so nonchalantly. Yeah. Just to let you know, guys, if you want to have sex, everyone went. Oh. What? I'm, like, I'm looking I'm looking around I? like with who? Yeah, in it. Yeah. <laughs> with who? Yeah. Which I'm, one? Hi. 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 No, was, but, uh, I don't know what you're gonna do. Do you know what? <laughs> Me and Ash, we were just down bad. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. We was when you're when you're 14 days in, you don't even have anyone to be flicking through. No hoochie daddy to you even be flicking through. You were six days in, babe. This is six Girl, days. Girl, you better in. you better stop what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, we were six, six days. In. Listen, we haven't, we haven't seen. Don't no. haunt me with the timeline. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> whatever. You the, shower. Yeah. <laughs> producer Sarah is like actually, actually, actually. Was six days in. We were six days in. We were like, girl, me and Ash are looking at your fucking fam. Like, something's got to give. No physical touch, no nothing, no hugging, no kissing. I just said, do you know what? I said, I could just lips for three hours, right? Now. Oi, oi, that. I looked at Ash, we were, we were dead silent. We were just sitting in the chair. I it said, It was so funny when <laughs> Joyce said this to me. Why did they not leave her in? I said, Oh, no, because that was one of the funniest chats we've yeah, ever yeah, had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joyce said, looked me dead in the eyes and I went, like, what are you missing? Because I was like, I just need a little bit of, like, flirtatiousness. Yeah, like, yeah. A bit of something. Joyce looked me dead in the blood clot eye and went, I could lips for three hours. <laughs> and I felt, I fell oh apart. I could just lips. I don't even want a sex anymore. Yeah, she said, I, I just don't want to do anything else. Lips. Lips. Just lips. <laughs> I just wanted to lips. I would come up to you. Like, I know you said you're like a physical touch girl. So I would just come up to you, Casey, and just like. But bitch, not you. Hand, yeah. Just, like, I love you, but not <laughs> you. I need somebody yeah. that's with arms. Uh, Tattoos. I, I wasn't doing it I for know. that reason. I wasn't doing it to like. That's, that's the physical touch. You are. <laughs> I told, I told Shana, I want, that's my intention. I told Shana I want physical touch, but it's yeah. like, girl, not from you. Like, I love yeah, your sister, but, but it's think, like. <laughs> I think that's why we misconstrued Danny in our head at points because we had prison goggles on. Because prison goggles. Uh, because it, it was that. Prison because goggles. He, I'm sure, like, you know, are you a question? Uh, yeah. Question. Adam and Eve, yeah. Were the only two people <laughs> oh, on the planet, okay. right? Right. If there was oh, other man hell. in the world at the time, would Eve check for Adam? Wait, what do you mean? Would would? She's basically asking you if you and Danny were the only two people on the earth, would you shag? No, 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 no. The point I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, point- no, no, no. The point I'm trying to make, yeah. Of course, Adam and Eve. I'd have to. Thank you. I need to read when, my your yeah. res- when your resources are limited. Impress- right. Check it. I In- see the analogy now. I see yeah, it. Okay, now okay, I see okay, it. Okay, uh-huh. Right. Adam and Eve were the only two people on the planet. Yes. Uh-huh. If there was more men, would Eve check for Adam? I get it. Or was he I the see. only one there? Yes. Limited, right. Oh, okay. I rest my case. I rest my case. Drop the mic. I rest that my case. That. That we had limited resources. <laughs> yeah, what's that? Girl, it's, but you're, you're at, Danny Aris wasn't a resource. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't. He she thought... said it like, Danny Aris is not WH. <laughs> <laughs> like, that what? is killing me. Honestly. Danny Aris is not a Danny... resource. <laughs> <laughs> no. Goodbye. <laughs> Dan, honestly, Danny's a great guy. Danny's a sweet guy. Do you know what Danny it is? Was, Danny was loved up. Danny, like he was, he talked about his girlfriend a lot. <laughs> he, he talked about his girlfriend a lot. He was all loved up. <laughs> he was just, he wasn't an option. <laughs> Shut your mouth. Do you know Shut what it was? Mouth. It's because I love tactile people, right? I, mm-hmm. I, lo- I love, all my friends are like that. Like I'm an, ex- even Tennessee said this to me. Ten is not a hugger. Yeah. She is, you know no, what Ten's no, no. like. She is a- You hug her, you feel like- Yeah, and best believe I will thrust myself upon her every evening. I was yeah. like, Ten, and I could see her yeah, body you were going a like rigor mortis. Like yeah, <laughs> instant. Yeah. yeah, and by the end, you know in the last day when she came back for the final, she went, oh, can I hug you? And I went, Change yes. Ten? And she went, oh my God, I don't know what's happened to me. She a said, changed a woman. And I went to see, and I think there was there's just an element of that. That's the only reason why we were feeling a way about Danny because he is 
that person no, you're feeling low, was, yeah. he will come up to you, give you a little tutu back massage and then walk off and you go, oh, that's made me that feel so nice. much I can't, better. not yeah. gonna lie, he, honestly, Danny surprised me in terms of his character because yeah. he came in throwing oranges and stuff. Yeah. But two things about Danny. Danny is was the most chill. Mm-hmm. Like, it was shocking. Danny, most of the time, when all the chaos mm-hmm. was happening, he was the most chill and reserved. Mm-hmm. But he also was the most sweetest. Yeah, he was. The For sweetest. me, my experience face to face, I don't know all the all the all the extra stuff. Yeah, I don't know. But I'm going to talk about my experience with him. Mm-hmm. Was that he was the sweetest, mm-hmm. nicest guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he would hug you when you felt bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he would. He would check on you to see if you're okay. He'd give you hugs. He'd stroke. He'd stroke your hair. Mm-hmm. He'd make sure that you're okay. Every most mornings he'd come to the girlies while we're doing our makeup Always. to say, "Are you guys okay? Do Good you guys morning." Need anything? Hello, anything? he'd say, "Hello, queens." Hello, yeah. queens. Hello queens. <laughs> Every giving morning, queen. yeah, it's giving queen. Every morning. So my experience him with him in that house mm-hmm. was really, really good, and that's why everybody. That's why everybody fell in love with him because yeah. his character was so nice he mm-hmm. was such a nice guy he was such like a gentle giant that's yeah. how we the girls yeah knew him do you I know was, on no you go i was so worried because when i got announced when when i was going in danny had already been announced before i was all of my comments when i got announced was like oh like shannon because danny's friends with like the, all of the people yeah and like so i was very worried yeah. about how he was going to act towards me because I saw all the comments and everything like that. And so I was I was really worried about Danny. Like I was like, he's going to be an asshole just to be an asshole. Yeah. I was like, he's going to Yeah. I I, didn't, I apparently I had met him, but I very briefly, I think at an Arsenal game once. But like I was like he's going to be an asshole just to be an asshole to me and he's going to bring up all of this stuff and that's going to be hell for me because I don't want to talk about any of that. And then he was just the nicest, sweetest mm like loveliest person yeah he was so wonderful and i was so shocked by it mm. i was really really shocked by it yeah he definitely shocked me because i again i didn't know danny beforehand mm-hmm. but um i met him on the first day and he, he he came in as quite the 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 villain throwing oranges going on day. the floor yeah. on that Elec- electrocuted day. me like that kind of oh, just just so you know what it feels like Stop. but if, to be honest, even on that? that day i started because i was glued because i was glued to him he like. Did you I, pee with Danny Aaron's there? Yeah, we peed together, honey. Did you? Yeah, we went. To, yeah, I needed to pee. He turned around. He put his jacket over. Girl, I was like, <laughs> you, you. But like, he pulled the chair for me <laughs> with the he, mugging handcuff. He pulled the chair for me. He was. I felt that we had a very, very great relationship until. Mm-hmm. I started seeing all the other stuff coming out on the internet and seeing what mm. he was saying in the storeroom and things like that, which to be honest, really, really broke my heart. It really, really? It, it, it made me sad because I was the, I was like the person that- I don't I, think that reflected in the way that he behaved with, with you in the house at all. Yes, the way he reflected with all of us, including mm. me, was that he was a very nice guy. Like mm-hmm. if, if you know in the in the storeroom, everything that we've ev- I've ever said about Danny was good things because yeah. generally what I was experiencing with him mm-hmm. was it was good. Mm-hmm. But then obviously when I came out, and I started seeing the comments and then I started seeing some of the stuff that he was saying in the mm-hmm. in the storeroom. I was so confused because it's like, these are two different people. Yeah. When you see me, you'll pull my chair out for me. You'll be like, Joy, sit down. Mm-hmm. Or what did he say in the storeroom other than what he said to you when he was like, if I had to pick anyone to go home, it'd be Joy. You mean like when we did the when we did the the egg fight, he was saying that he found what we were doing quite immature. And um, not hang da- on a minute, not Danny who's Aaron <laughs> saying it's that? immature. Who scales the walls and <laughs> literally it- and kicked a hole in the table? He said right. he said that when we were thrown eggs, he goes, "Yeah, I found it quite immature, to be honest." That's what he said. Danny, no, that's madness. Danny, that's absolute madness. Do you know what? On my first day, Danny Aaron said he was going to play what was it? Um, uh, noughts and crosses on the security's forehead. And he said he was gonna go up to the toilet and masturbate one night. That's how much he was. Um, oh, I remember that's that how in much the he night. Was down bad. But I was like, girl, Apparently just go do it. Why are you going? Boys did. Apparently he did it. He didn't. He didn't. No, no, he, he didn't. didn't. I know because we were all going. Listen, stop chatting about it and just make it. Happen. I would have just gone. And, <laughs> just I would have just gone and go. done. And, and minded my business. Do you know what? Because I'm not gonna lie. Because that first day, because I was the last one to get in, mm-hmm. yeah. and I already felt like I. It, it's so daunting seeing yeah. a house of nine people sitting there. I got in and I was just like, oh my God, everybody sat there like 
already, I was like, how, you know, how long have you been there? Like, have you already made a relationship with yeah. people? You know, am I just like a bit of an outlier now? And it's so hard to know. But I think because you came in, you already had connection with George. You had it with right. Ash. Like you already had, so you were fine with Thank men. God. Like, like you already knew people in there. But I remember going in being terrified of Danny because everyone was looking at me going, he's off his nut. And I thought, oh, hell no. I was like, we've got 14 days of this man that's just like off his nut. Mm -hmm. And then literally by that evening, I was like, he's a lovely guy. Mm -hmm. Mad. It's CNT, baby. Right, girlie. So obviously, I think we, we need to address the elephant in the room. Mm -hmm. um, a lot has happened. Mm. I mean, for all of us, but I think, especially for me, mm -hmm. I'll be honest, I have seen, I have seen a situation I have never seen before. Yeah. And I'm sure everyone has seen it. Mm -hmm. You know, being attacked on social media is, is never nice. And the job that we do, we've had it. Like, mm -hmm. this is not my first time mm -hmm. where people have, you know, disagreed with, something i've said or mm -hmm. but there's disagreement there's there's, dis there's disagree exactly. yeah it's true yeah this level mm -hmm. i honestly have never seen anything mm -hmm. like it and i've been trying to put on a brave face about it and be like mm -hmm. you know what i don't give a fuck but i can't lie mentally and emotionally coming out of the house already dealing with the emotional the emotional time we've had in the house mm -hmm. yeah. to then come out and to experience even worse mm -hmm. mm. in real life has just been really really hard mm -hmm. but th this I, I guess like it's, it happened from you know people were people had suffered at the beginning but let's let's really address where it all started and this started i believe with the angry ginge episode if well is that angry where we think it like took off so I believe I, I believe this guy was doing reaction videos and things like that on the yeah. about the show. Obviously, I've not watched any, but from no. from what from what I've received, it's like he his content is to like bash people. So like I don't feel like any of the girls really. I, I'm gonna say I'm not gonna speak for any of the girls, mm -hmm. but I did I did see something he said about you mm -hmm. where you were. Um, when we were doing the Philly thing, oh, and we were yeah, shaking yeah, our yeah, bum, yeah, yeah. and he and you were like, oh yeah, yeah what's the popular population of this massive and yeah, he's like yeah, well yeah. that means everyone's been in there or like oh, that means right. like something something <laughs> yeah so, something along I'm the lines dead. of that Hoochie mama. Hoochie mama. like that <laughs> that kind of stuff so yeah i think from when he came into the mm -hmm. house um is when it kind of spiraled from there mm -hmm. so you and i were there shan wasn't there i want us to really break down that day because because they didn't they didn't air the full fight right I would no like hear, i would like to hear it also down. It was not a fight. That's what's mad. As in, from what I understand, like me and Joyce were saying, we don't exist in the same space as Angry Ginger at all. Mm -hmm. His entire like kind of personality in the social media space is to be angry and cuss people. Mm -hmm. And people love it. People find it funny. That's his audience. We have completely different audiences. Yeah. yeah. I've never seen anything like that. I've never, like in our space. Yeah. That type of content doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, listen, we someone's coming to your house, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. One hundred percent. We don't have because Imagine if you as a podcaster had everyone on your show and then cast them. Yeah. <laughs> and you'd Honestly, have no career. If I, had, yeah. if I had that content in the UK, yeah. in the space I'm in, someone's bucking me. One hundred percent. You're getting bucked. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. you're I'm yeah. coming someone's coming to my crib. You'd have many ops. I'd have many ops. It, <laughs> it just doesn't it just no. doesn't exist. So the day before that, mm -hmm. I had I think it's the day before the day after I got bitten by the dog. Yes. Okay. So a lot of people are wondering where I was when the dog bite happened. Mm. So what happened was that when I was running <laughs> 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 when I was running, that's the first run I've done in ages. She's a runner, she's a track star. <laughs> Listen, I ran, I fell, and I fell with my hands flat yeah. forward. The dog ran past me, ran back, and grabbed my wrist. Mm -hmm. Now, we were wearing the big suits, mm. but 
our hands were only protected by a knife proof glove. Mm -hmm. So the dog clipped my wrist and was raggling, raggling me. And I'm watching this vicious fucking dog raggling my wrist, and it's it's I'm, my I am in pain, mm. and I'm and I'm sh I'm scared. I'm waiting for the woman to come. So and they didn't. They didn't which, come by fast. the way, they didn't come by fast. By the way, sis was <laughs> that was a madness. Diddling, oh, here I diddling. Come. She was yeah. on her way to the corner shop to get milk. She Maybe, was yeah, yeah. Come on, Lily. Come yeah, on, yeah, Lily. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well Don't done, that. good boy. Oh, good. Oh. I was Get like, Lily. that's mad. Yeah. This, uh, this dog is about to chop my arm. Come on, Lily. Well done. <laughs> well done. That's a yeah, good girl. That's a good girl. Yeah. Are you yeah. fam? So I've come up the floor. No one sees me because I am shook. I'm shaking up. I've got these two dog my mm -hmm. marks on my wrist, right? Still scarred, no? Still scarred. Yeah, I still have the scar. I can't believe that. I still have the scar. I showed it on your show. Mm -hmm. Um and I might put a picture up, I don't know. <laughs> and Do I've sat down, I am in floods of tears because I'm I've freaked out. Mm -hmm. the, the owner of the the owner of the dog company said, Oh, do you know, thank God he didn't get your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Bruv. That's all right then, isn't That's it? Yes. <laughs> God. Thank, thank God. God. Thank golly gee. <laughs> no, God. not that. I swear to God, my whole wrist swelled up. Everyone saw mm. it. My yeah. whole, from here to here, my whole wrist was swollen. Yeah. That's why I left the challenge. I had to leave the challenge mm -hmm. to sit in the room to crop. I was so shaken up. Please, can I talk to my manager? Please, can I talk to someone? Mm -hmm. People have trauma from dog attacks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I never had trauma. I developed one yeah, in the yeah. house. <laughs> Do you think I, it affected you? Do you think... Hell are you, fucking are you scared yeah. of dogs now? I was freaked out. Yeah. What about now? Like when? Yeah. You, I, is obviously, it? like if I see a small, but that I'm not gonna. Before, mm. like I'd see a dog and be like, oh my god, like uh, like it's a dog. I just think now I'm. I'll be more cautious if I yeah, saw a dog 100%. of that size, because the way that dog grabbed me, my whole wrist was swollen. I was crying, begging to see my manager, begging to talk to somebody. They wouldn't let me talk to anyone. Oh yeah, well, you can't speak to the outside world. Um, we, you can't you can't talk to anyone from the outside world. I was that. So from then, I was da I was down bad. Yeah. I was in hell. And then I still had to come and perform every day. Mm -hmm. I, was, I had a sprain on in the night. They put it on an ice pack. What can you do? And I was dealing with the mental of, I was dealing with the mental of the show. Yes. I was dealing with- With an actual- With, the, with an actual attack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if you notice when I came, when I, so that day, the next day, we had the box challenge. Right? No, yes. no. Was it the next no, day? Two days after. Was it two days I after? I did the dog, yes. then I left, yeah. then the box so challenge. So from, the, I can't remember what happened, but from then I felt like we had to stay in the which box challenge because there were two. No, box the standing in the box. Oh, the standing in the box. When was so the standing was in the box? Challenge? That was the the day before was the talent show. So it was the dog, then the talent show, then the box. Yeah. Yeah. So from that day, from from that dog day, I was on a D. I was on a yeah. hard decline. Mm -hmm. So the angry ginger day came. I don't know where I was mentally, but I was, the, 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 anyways, we're all having a hard time. We came into the room. I don't even think you were anywhere bad mentally. But not What'd to, you say? like, but when I watched my, watch my, so obviously it was the dog and then I left. And like, when I watched that back, I don't know if they made it super emotional, whether it was actually that emotional. That looked like a really emotional day for everyone. <laughs> like, it was hard. It looked like a really, Which one? The... when I left. Yeah, 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 yeah it, it was, really it was, it was emotional. So it you was... had the dog, then you had that, and then you had this. Yeah, so, so my, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna get to I'm trying I'm trying to build a narrative to this point. Agreed, agreed. Because I think I think context is important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we've walked into the challenge area and we mm -hmm. imagine everyone is always excited about the challenges mm -hmm. because it's the, the time in the day where we can do something fun. Get to mm -hmm. do something. Yeah. Guys, there is so much downtime in that place. After the challenges, you are all, we are all sitting ducks. Yeah. Think about every moment that you pick up your phone to, to mm -hmm. waste time. Mm -hmm. We don't have it. Mm -hmm. yeah. No TV no phone so we're all sitting there looking at each other the <laughs> challenges is the only time where we're like yay yay we've come into the challenge area we imagine we had the we had dog we had the lot first couple of days mm. dog this that talent show this everything was a really physical physical you know fun mentally challenge. fun challenge so we and it was up down yes up down, down. yeah that's like how it was you, challenges it was should mad. be up then after that you'd be down yeah. anyways again we see this fucking box you need to stand in the box you need to stand in the in the square <laughs> freaking fam 
what what I, I was like did the budget run out or I'll sign up for a mr being. beast video I said, I said, I said, did the budget, did did the budget run out? Anyways, yeah. so we walk in, we walk into the room. <laughs> we walk into the room and we're in the box. Now, I honestly, this is so foggy to me because I don't know if Jidge walked in or if he wasn't, he was already there. No, he walked in. I don't remember him walking in. Really? That's how mentally, I don't know where I was. Really? I, I don't, I swear to you, I remember seeing him and he was sat. Right. I, I don't know where I was. So anyways, mm-hmm. this boy is sat. Now I'm confused. Right. I'm looking at, I'm look, I'm, and I'm in the box. I didn't think anything of it. I mm. thought he was part of the Fort Asylum team. Mm-hmm. I, I've never seen this guy before. they would come in a lot. Like the they would come in a lot. In a yes. lot during, what they didn't see was production would come in a lot during the challenges. Yeah. And they would in. talk you through or they would sit with you and things like that, which obviously they didn't show. Yeah. So like it's totally understandable if you didn't know who somebody was coming in at the time. I didn't know who he was, nor did he, he I don't remember him introducing himself. I don't remember. He I, didn't, he didn't. I don't, re- I don't remember. I think he must have just sat down and just like, because he's known in a certain space, i.e. he's like, Danny's May, I think like he's obviously very well known in a certain realm of social media, but because it's one that we don't I exist have in, never. Did people get excited when he came in? Were they like, woo? Danny and like the boys did because they knew who he was. Yeah. The girls honestly were like, who that? Who that? <laughs> honestly, hey, who that? Yeah, yeah. Everybody was like, yeah, but Danny shouted, Ginger. obviously people can hear people from people's mics. Mm-hmm. Remember, I was at the back. I stood at the back of the... Th- Honestly, I don't recall, like, not that I don't recall, but I didn't take in any mm, of it. Mm. My mind was elsewhere. I wanted to go home. Yeah, yeah, Then yeah. when I tuned in, I saw, I, I, um, I saw him sitting down and I was a bit confused. I was, <laughs> I was a bit confused. I was thinking, he's, he, this guy must be a producer or whatever. Then I'm talking to 10. I've talk, I'm speaking to 10. Um, I can't remember what I said. So wait, he came, he came in. Yeah. He sat down, he didn't say anything. He didn't say anything. He did not introduce himself. And then you two all, and then you guys all just, just carried on. He just came in and sat Bear down. Bear in mind, the challenge is already so rogue. It's I was <laughs> so pissed off. Yeah. Hi everyone. Um, the budget's not giving today. Um, we've mapped out this box with gaffer tape. Stand in it. The last one to get out gains immunity. We just went, what the fucking ras is this? Yeah. We were like, what's yeah. this about? Yeah. So we're all standing there, we're a bit like, this is not what we needed. I think we all needed a pick me up that day. Yeah, we did. And and that was not the pick me up that we wanted because mm. we all stood there and we were just like, one person is gaining immunity from this. We may as well. Just decide between you who yes. wants immunity and the rest of you. And then everyone leave and yeah. go about our day because yeah. this doesn't make sense. Yeah. Was, it, was that the day when they were like, don't, I think we, I think we, we planned that later on. We yes. didn't say it at the beginning. Yes. So I'm sitting there and I'm talking to, t- I'm talking to ten. I'm standing there, so I'm talking to ten. And this ginger guy goes, he's like, oh, and you can, and something about like, and you could shut up in the back. You're always doing yappa yappa yappa. So I've looked to everybody, like, who the fuck is, like, who the, who yeah, the fuck yeah, is yeah, this yeah, guy? Yeah. And I'm like, I didn't even say that. I said, are we? all getting violated by a ginger guy with a fringe or what? Like, that's yeah, what I said. Yeah, I said, yeah, oh, yeah, we're yeah. all about to get violated with a ginger guy with a fringe. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking, who is this guy? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you've come in with a full front ginger fringe. I've never seen you in my life. And bro. you're just choosing violence. And you're just choosing violence. Yeah. yeah. So he walks out with Danny. I think mm-hmm. Danny Danny very quickly got kicked out of the box. Yes. He stepped his foot out when he Did was he excited. Shot he got something. shot with a little, yeah, with a little, little BB. Nerf. Okay, nerf. yeah. And he leaves. Yes. So Danny tells him. I've seen him numbing on donuts. Like he's munching on yes. donuts. Right, so, okay. so, no, Ginge leaves first. I think, I believe Danny leaves after and tells him what I've said. That I'm like, who's this ginger guy with the front fringe? So Angry Ginge comes back in mm-hmm. and has a crumpet in his hand and He's literally picked it and he's like, well, you can fucking have that then. And literally hits it yeah. on, in my boob. Mm-hmm. He hits it in my chest. Mm-hmm. I've looked to the camera in production and I'm like, I'm about to bug out. Yeah. Because it hurt me. Mm-hmm. And I'm looking in the camera, talking to production and I'm like, this guy has just thrown something at me. Mm-hmm. This guy has just thrown something at me. I don't know who the hell you are, but you've just literally mm. thrown a crumpet at me. Mm-hmm. Hard. Now, the timeline, was this before or after? Because I've seen things of sweet corn and chewing gum and all of this. This was before. This all of this was before. None of this got none of the, none. So the, all the chewing gum and sweet corn happened after. The first thing that he done, the first person he came for yeah. in that argument was me. Mm-hmm. Right? And this wasn't in a jokey, this is, a, this is all in a jokey way or? No, because the thing is, 
bear in mind with I think his persona and the way that he is, his angry. thing is, uh, is it's just to be angry. It's in the name. His and name is yeah, Angry Ginge, Ginge, right? That's cool. Yeah. That's how you make your peas. His whole persona is just to cast. You know how you said, even when you say something that's like, I'm a bit annoyed at you, I do it with a smile and yeah. a bit a bit cheekiness and a bit of charisma, because that's who I am. Yeah. Angry Ginge is what it says on the tin. Yeah. He is an angry ginger yeah. so like that's his thing and he obviously his whole role in there was to be brought in to rattle us but like joy said it was so weird because he didn't introduce himself mm -hmm. we didn't get told this is this person and he's here to rattle you so imagine somebody just coming in a stranger mm -hmm. <laughs> she thinks it's production at this point right now somebody walks in lobs a crumpet at me i'm like what the fuck you'd be like am i a rascal <laughs> you'd be like what is Thank going you. on so I've now been, so I've now, I'm now heated, mm -hmm. right? So I'm like, yeah, you know, I, I'm like, I think I'm like, who are you? you? Like, have your, like, who are you? Like, are you somebody? Like, who, like, I'm I'm now like giving yeah. it back to him. So he's like, look at you, look at you. You, um, what did he say? You, like, you shagging in lifts. Oh, yes. Look at you well, you're well, not, you're well, well, good, isn't it? Good yeah, at yeah, shagging yeah. in lifts. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I shagged in a lift and what? Yeah, I shagged in a lift and what? And yeah. he's like, look at you, nobody likes you. So he's now telling me, listen, out there, nobody likes you. That's when I'm like, people love me. People love me. Yeah. There's a stranger that's coming to me and telling me that people hate me. Yeah. What was I supposed to say? Even yeah. if it wasn't a stranger, if it's somebody you trust, like anyone coming in, when you're in that house, you are doing your very best. Somebody yeah. coming in and saying, nobody likes you. Nobody, nobody likes you in the outside world. And I'm like, that's when I now say, people love me. No, and people love me. And the worst thing is, we have no interact the hardest part of that whole experience is having no interaction no. with anybody and not knowing how you're perceived that's yeah. horrible so somebody yeah. coming in and going everyone fucking hates you by the way that is the worst thing you could say to and someone and you know I'm that crying. was yeah 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 it's one million crying. percent instantly on the floor i crying. couldn't believe even the fact that to me you were giving it back to him, but it was it was still in a light hearted like you were going, Purr, yeah, Purr, yeah, I'm Purr, Purr, but I, people minutes, love honey. me. People love me. I was thinking, how is Joyce doing this? I would have been that in Because crying. you know I'm what happened? Yes. If I yeah. if he responded in the way that I wanted to respond, guess who is going to be the problem in the situation? Guess who's gonna be the mm -hmm. angry black woman if I was to cuss somebody out for coming for me first? Mm -hmm. So I did it in a light heart. I don't have your 10 minutes, honey. Who are you? Sorry, who are you? That's how I was doing it. And yeah. I was just lighting and I was just like giggling and stuff. Then there was a point where it was just quiet and I'm like, who? And, and I asked the guys, who the hell is that guy? Like, who mm -hmm. the hell are you? And they're like, oh yeah, you know, he's, they, he left the room and they're like, oh yeah, he's angry, Ginge. He's got 2 million followers. He does like content of shouting and stuff right. like that. Now, this is when people need to understand me because a lot of people are like, oh, you're, you only, you only, you're only nice to him and change your tone because he's a producer. Mm -hmm. once uh, you because realize, once you realize he yeah. was who he was and I'm, and I'm job shaming and, oh, you, I'm looking down to are producers. People, that? people are saying that, that I'm a job shamer. People, and let me explain to you something. You see those producers mm -hmm. on fi with 500 followers mm -hmm. and 400 followers? They're the ones putting me in those rooms, honey. One million percent. They're the ones who are paying my bills. They're the ones who, when I go, when when they're in meetings and they're like, who do we put in? Mm -hmm. They're the ones either putting me forward or they're telling people don't work with her because she's a bitch. Mm -hmm. I would never be, I would never look at a producer, a producer of all that and be like, sorry, you're a producer. I don't want to talk to you. The same, and, and it's so funny because I'm, people are saying I'm rude to producers, but they're also saying the same producers rigged the votes for me to help me win. How does that work? Mm, that's hilarious. That's true, yeah. The math no, isn't math. The math's not mathing. I'm no, rude to producers, I'm rude to every, I'm only nice to talent, but no. like. Twitter math. Yeah, it's, it it's, Twitter it's, math. It's, 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 yeah. it's definitely giving Twitter math. Yeah. And I apologize, the reason, the, why I apologize, because I realized it's a, ga it's a gig. That's what he does. Yes. My thing it's was like, not, it's not actually, it's not, he's not coming for you. It's it's a character. It's a character. Which you didn't know before. It's it's imagine so not being told yeah. that that person is a character. And that's the whole point of it. That's what creates the show. Yeah. But again, it's so damaging if you think about it. Because if some, that day I was mentally checked out. I When I tell you, I was like, I can't believe you're holding your ground in that way. Because I stood there in silence in the box. Because I was like, I, if I utter a word, He's gonna come for me yeah. and I can't bear it today, I can't take it. So I just went like this. 
And I was so proud of you for even being able to give a little rebuttal. And it wasn't, you weren't rude, it was purr. And it was, there was an element of cheekiness to it. And I was like, oh, okay, this is just a fun rapport. I was like, this is what he does. Joyce is giving a kind of, yeah. all right, honey, sassy, yeah, but yeah. people love me, sassy girl. Like, it, it wasn't this, like, scathing argument. No, it wasn't. And I'm like, I don't get what people are, are seeing here. It, I think it's that his audience and him and his audience and you and your audience have very different senses of humor. Very, yeah. very different. And you find very different things funny. Yeah. So to people watching, it's like that your, your like audience don't get him, his audience don't get you. Fine. That's fine. We all have, we all find different things funny, mm -hmm. but you were do you were just doing it in a lighthearted way. He was just being his character and doing, from what I know, obviously I wasn't mm -hmm. there, but like, it sounds like you were just doing it and he was just doing it. And you're both just being this, having this to and fro, you know? Yeah, yeah. I felt like I, I was in every right to defend myself in that situation. If I had saying? known that angry Ginge, cause listen, where I'm from again, we don't have them type of people in my space. <laughs> no. If I had known, just like when I met Max Kadar, mm -hmm. I didn't take heart to anything he said, cause I knew this is his thing. Mm -hmm. If I had known that yeah. that was his thing, I wouldn't have taken so much offense to it. But well, it's in comparison, I took a bit of offense to Max because I don't know Max's character. Yeah. Yeah. And I kept saying to everyone, hang on a minute, somebody explain, is this what he does? Mm. Yeah. In the same way as Angry Ginge, because I was like, is this just him and his persona? Because I need to understand it because I think this guy's come into our house and been hella rude. Yeah. And then you guys were like, no, no this, this is, is what he does. I was like, cool. I'll just sit You take then. less offense to it. This is the game. This is the concept. Yeah. It's a character. It's not a person coming for you. Yeah, it, exactly. So yeah. that's how, so then after that, after the things that uh, happened, I did apologize to him and I, and I said, you know what? Just to clear my conscience, I apologize. Did I need to apologize? I don't feel like I needed to apologize. You apologized to him. Yeah, I yeah, actually apologized because it was eating me because I'm like, okay, someone's coming to do, and the thing is, this is the problem. Has that been mentioned at all? Yeah, 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 they put it, they put it they in put the, it, put it but in. they okay, said okay, that okay. people are now mixing it to say the only reason why I apologize is because I realized he had 2 million followers on TikTok, like. And do you know what's annoying? You agonized over that little exchange all Yeah, day. I thought about yeah. it for time. She kept saying, yeah. Did I did I do too much with Angry Ginge? And I was like, Are you joking? I went, the man threw a cum crumpet at you, so cussed you out fully, left, yeah. right, and centre, and you were going, Per okay, you're a ginger, whatever. Like I was like, that is. That's, yeah. it's, I was like, you were fine. It's really not in my nature to to even do that to someone that I don't know. Yeah, like it's, it's so it's so foreign to me. Mm -hmm. Like. But I felt like I was being attacked in that time, physically mm -hmm. and verbally. Mm -hmm. I don't know you for you to be talking about, I'm basically in, insinuating that I'm a slag and throwing mm -hmm. crumpets at me. Mm -hmm. So I snapped back in, in the way that I thought was the most correct, appropriate the most way. appropriate Agreed. way. Agreed. So that whole situation has now formed this catalyst of just, I can't lie, pure abuse mm -hmm. and hate mm -hmm. which for me mm -hmm. for what i felt like i'd done is not warranted no it it, it just wasn't warranted mm -mm. and like people coming into my dms my instagram my emails to attack me all under the umbrella of angry judge and mm. before anyone says how do you know angry judge because the fans make sure they let you know where it's coming from oh like, really I, if i show you my phone and i show you my tiktok no you, way you have a look and you you have a look and you tell me yourself whether whether this is come this is just a general hate or if it's coming no from one way community. it's not it's not have a look it's tricky as well because i phone, i feel familiar. like it's like not really it's not been spoken about in like a positive light on other people's like challenges, like other people's um, channels as well. Mm -hmm. Like you know what you know that hurt me the most, girl. Who you know what Shanna's saying? The fact that th it's one thing somebody that I don't know has come in and has an opinion about me, mm. but I spent two weeks with people in the house, mm -hmm. and I felt like we had a shared experience. There was love in that house. Mm -hmm. Agreed. We was all kind to each other. Mm -hmm. I felt like I really left with friends mm -hmm. for them to for for them to come out. Mm. And to jump on the bandwagon 
No way. And to and to and to continue to breed the hate. To almost, breed yeah. the hate. Barely anyone has asked me, Joyce, how are you doing? Mm-hmm. Are you okay? Mm-hmm. You're so strong for coming out and being and like dealing with all of that. Like I don't as in I'm, I'm not gonna lie i'm not strong i'm i'm not strong girls mm. because i'm strong now because i'm in front of camera mm. but mm. when the whole thing happened i cried yeah and i think i cried more not not so much more the hate mm. but the fact that my housemates that i thought mm. that were my friends yeah are continually continuously pushing this narrative going on podcasts going on YouTube channels and nobody can defend my character. Mm-hmm. Nobody can be like, hold on. Like Joyce is actually, mm-hmm. Joyce is actually, uh, she was nice to me. She was good to me. Yeah. Like, I don't feel like I was, I was wicked to anybody in the house. No. Nobody. No. I wasn't. Nobody. No. So it was a thing where I'm now seeing this from people that oh, I thought, Bob, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay. I'm seeing this from people who I thought I had mm. good connections with was was the most hurtful part of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because... Yeah. I felt a real, like, obligation as your friend and you being, like, such a rock for me in that house to come on the pod. And I didn't know how... When you came on my show, yeah. I didn't know how much you wanted to speak about it. I didn't know how much you didn't want to address it. You know, it's hard to know how to deal with these things. And I remember just looking at you and thinking, we need to talk about it because I need to say I have an obligation as your friend and somebody who spent that time with you and thinks you're a fucking amazing, brilliant, caring, great speaker. Just everything about you is fantastic. And I was like, I need to say, how do you feel about this? It's like, this is insane. Like me and my house, my housemates were watching it avidly, obviously, because I was on it. And they were like, I don't understand where this has come from. I'm not expecting people to to like me right or people might find me annoying or whatever Mm -hmm. but i'm looking at my phone and i'm seeing pictures of me next to gorillas no i'm seeing people comparing me to this footballer Mm. that footballer i'm seeing you fat black bitch no all over my profile i'm see it's the most honestly Sincerely, girls, it is the most disgusting thing I've ever had to experience. It is the most disgusting thing. And again, I don't know Mm. where these breeder boys come from Mm -hmm. or these breeder people come Mm -hmm. from. But the fact that my housemates, Mm. my so-called friends Mm -hmm. that we shared this experience with, we spent 300 hours together, sat down to speak about me and nobody could defend my name. Mm. Yeah, that's mad. That's, yeah, nobody could defend my name yeah. to say, "Hold on, like that's mad." That is insane. She's not like that. Yeah, mm. I felt like I was so by myself in this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, nobody wanted to. I wasn't expecting anyone to jump on stories and be like, "Oh my god, nah." But the opportunities that people had, you mm-hmm. lot have been doing this show and doing that show, mm-hmm. the opportunities that people had to say something, mm-hmm. they aggregated, aggravated the situation of what, like, what did, what did I do? Mm. I didn't see, but, I didn't see nothing. any tension. No, not there's a thing, nothing. I didn't see any tension in that house, Joyce, honestly, other than when Watson left, that like slightly between you and Danny, yeah. but you apologized for that and that was done. Do you know what and I mean? Also, that was done. But that wasn't my fault. Fo- yeah, even if that. producers, have told you, me, you're not going home. You're going this place. You're doing this and you have to kick someone out. Everyone would have done the same thing. Everyone what? would have chosen someone to kick out. You what? have to. You there have was to. no point. There was no choice. You have, what else do you do? No, I'm going to go home. I don't get what. Yeah, I'm going to go home and sit on my back crease no. and just and miss the opportunity. Those were decisions the time that, I needed that to was have so exactly. beyond me. Mm-hmm. This is a show, remember? Yeah. And what? And, and by the way, guys, we're contracted for this job. Yeah. This is this is a this is a we're job paid for us. For, we got yeah. I think yeah. a lot of people forget that aspect of it. Mm-hmm. I think people see this as almost like a love island of like a, you've gone on a show and this it is a job. I don't I don't know how people much you're allowed to we get, yeah. paid to be on there. Yeah. I don't know if you're even allowed to say that if you're not you cut it out. 
Can you? I think you can say you've got... Cut it out. <laughs> Cut it out, yeah. But, like... I th- you can say you just can't say how... Like, you can't talk about how much and everything. But I think yeah, you can say that Yeah, but at were... the end of the day, it's not somewhere like we are, you know, everyday Joe Blogs looking for love and whatever. You go on this show and you get invited on this show because you've built a platform of some, of some kind. You've worked super hard. You're a creator in the space, blah, blah, blah. This is a job. Yeah. If you get told by a producer, you're coming out, you need to take someone out, and you're going back in. That's what you do. Mm-hmm. Like, you have to. Mm-hmm. Any of us would have done the same thing. You are on a job. Yeah. And it's my, I kept having to remind myself that when I was down bad, those last few days when all we were doing was crying choice, <laughs> and I was like, this is a job, man. This is just, do you know what? This is work. Get yourself together. Yeah. Yeah, I think for me, I was like, it's just not worth work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She was like, this well, ain't is, worthwhile. It's not worth the work. Yeah, this, but, yeah. yeah. Shan's like, this is a bad yeah, day like, in the so, office. Yeah. She's right. A lot this of a people are mad days, over yeah. things that, that I just couldn't control. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And and you can see it in in the episode. There's there's an episode, the, the girls versus boys episode, mm-hmm. where, again, the way things are edited are just so interesting. Yeah. Because, mm. as you, as, should we talk about it? Much to what uh, the girls versus boys episode, where you Which were w- the the day before I where hated that day where you where it was you Danny and Casey yes. in the finals. Yes, I really struggled with that day. I think what is interesting is everyone was under the impression. You see, so basically, I had voted Fu out the day before. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'd voted Ten out the day before, mm-hmm. and. I was sad I voted 10 out. Mm-hmm. Um, but I felt my you, reason you, was so you justified. Me, you didn't vote 10 out. Yeah. It was everyone had a vote. Yeah, everyone right? had a vote. Yeah, exactly. like everyone had a vote. Uh-huh. It wasn't that you, it was down to you and you chose, everyone had a vote. In the same way that you voted 10 out, I voted Foo out. Yeah. yeah. That so, was the house favourite. I voted the house favourite out in the same way. Mm-hmm. Exactly the same way. Everyone had a vote. 10 goes home, right? Yeah. And I felt like I did that, I made that decision from my heart. Mm-hmm. I felt like, I, I didn't regret the decision. I was sad for 10 left, but I, I wasn't playing the game at the time. I was just following my heart. Mm-hmm. I think what people weren't seeing was the energy of the house mm-hmm. once 10 left and it was Fu, Danny and George yeah, who made it clear the night before none of the boys are going home. Mm-hmm. That's the first thing Danny said. The last thing he said on the previous episode, none of the boys are going home. Yeah, I was battling I made decisions from my heart, but now the boys have paired up, yes. had joined had joined union, and are now trying to keep each other out. I tried to keep each other safe. Mm-hmm. And I felt like that's really sad because I didn't play that game. Mm-hmm. And no, I was already it feeling wasn't guilty. A thing it wasn't you. a gender it was thing very much. from my heart. And I felt yeah. guilty to for voting. I started feeling guilty for voting 10 out because if, this, if we're playing this game, then why did I follow my heart and vote 10 out right so that those things were going through my mind that's why i was like to the girls listen cool if these boys want to play the game mm-hmm. let's play the game it came from a place of hurt mm-hmm. because again the boys who are, were all supposed to be friends we all love each other have now started moving a bit weird mm-hmm. so i got immunity george got immunity mm-hmm. now let's let's talk about the elephant in the room on that day <laughs> the show is built on votes when you from when you walk into that thing it is not, a, it is, it will never be a fair fight. Yeah. Casey or Danny were always destined to win. Yeah. yeah. Let's call we it a spade that. a spade. Yeah, 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 yeah. Casey and Danny from the first episode, yeah. if it was vote decision, were always going to win. Everybody knew that in the house. In the house. Everybody knew that in the house. Yeah. Because Everyone they was had just there for vibes. We were just there for vibes. <laughs> we were just there, yeah. We were. We, yeah. None of us were playing to win because no, we knew no. who the winner would be. Yeah, they yeah. have a strong yeah, 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 cult. Yeah, yeah. They have yes. a big following. Yeah. It was always going to be one of them. Mm-hmm. My sister, who is my rock and my support <laughs> system, doesn't have immunity alongside Danny and Casey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who do you think a public bone home. would go home? <laughs> yeah. Everybody knew. Let's not all, we all, everybody sat there once George got immunity. Oh, Shan, it was such a bad day. It was such a bad a, day. Do, uh, do you know what? I, we were all struggling so much by that point. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll try and summarize it quickly, but, but essentially the only three people that didn't have immunity were me, Danny and Casey. 
I was like, yeah. stop longing me out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going home. Yeah. It's so clear. Nobody wants to say it. So then it became but the this energy, like, elephant in the, the room. room. That everyone was kind of like, <sighs> and, and because of Guess this, who's going later. home? And yeah. I literally was like, please stop taking me for a decade because I know I'm going home. Let's, yeah. like, let's, please just so say all, it. So basically, now you're seeing it. In, now you're hearing the context. Yeah. So the jeering. So when George and Danny, because Danny was down bad that morning because George mm. didn't have immunity. He wasn't speaking. He was quiet. As soon as George, as soon as George got immunity he was like ah he was like my boy then he was look he's looking ash in the face and it's like oh yeah one of us are going home so you know it's not you <laughs> and i got really upset that day because i said to joyce and this is when like our runner who people don't know but our runner so part of production fraser mm. had to come in and literally i was what was i she was hysterically crying, crying because we spent the because because we had spent the whole day feeling Ash is going home, Ash is going home. And there was just, it didn't seem like there was any remorse from the boys. It's so weird because I called Fu and we spoke about this day and he's like, not gonna lie, I felt it too. Like that, yeah. that, oh my, and the boys didn't, it, there was no concern for Ash that day. Mm. It was and like, I yeah, my boy, my so boy, my boy. Because I was like, I feel like I hate feeling like the elephant in the room, mm. but nobody wants to chat about it. And I was like, I just feel like a dickhead. Yeah. And I packed all my bags. Yeah. Do you remember? Yeah, you packed all your bags. I literally, everyone was like, oh, guys, someone's going home tonight. And I went, guys. Just say it's me, Please honey. just say, can we chat about it? We knew I was it like, wasn't going to be Danny. We like knew it wasn't going to be Casey. Yeah. I was like, everybody knows if it's down to public vote, Danny and Case have a cult following. They've built this amazing platform that's great for them. But I was like, also, I'm 100% gone. Yeah. And I was, I'd pack my bags, literally, fully, come downstairs and I just felt so rotten. And you know when like, you're still having to kind of show up for camera. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're like, guys, we have comments tonight. And all these comments are coming up on the screen and they're nice comments. And I'm just sitting there like, I am fighting back tears because I can't reason, be bothered to be And the reason why I felt like out. in that episode, why I was so, I was moving so competitive. Mm. It wasn't a boys versus girls thing. It's like, I can't be without you right now and you can't be with me. Yeah. You can't be without yeah, yeah, me yeah, right yeah. now. It's either they both send us home <laughs> or we both have to fight to stay together. Yeah. That was that was the option. Casey, yeah. I love her. She's great, but she, she wasn't my rock. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I couldn't leave you there. Yeah. I couldn't leave you in that house by yourself. Yeah. You couldn't leave me in that house by yourself. Yeah. So we both had to stay or they chuck us both and out. And also, Casey, but by that point, I'm not going to lie, we said a million times she shocked us because mm -hmm. she is she is made of steel. Because we were done by this I was point. done. Mm. I we, wanted to go home. We were I was like, Casey's just having a great time. She was having she a great is. time. Casey's she's, just, a... she's there. She's just she's sleeping over with her nine mates. Yeah. You know I mean? She's just like, she's there for vibes. Like One million percent. She didn't feel the pressure. I didn't feel no. like, until, even after the dog challenge, like she didn't feel the pressure of it. I don't know how. She's literally. She loved it. She yeah. Love she it. loved it. She loved it. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. girl is made of she's, steel. Yeah, yeah, she is. She is. She's strong. She's just made for something like that. As yes. well. I feel like she's just very. She thrives in that like, environment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She does. Yeah. So yeah, this is this is what I'm 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 just I'm just gonna wrap up. But I just want to say thank you to everybody that has supported me on this very, to be honest, very difficult journey. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm I'm so happy that I got to go through this experience because I guess things like this just make you stronger right mm -hmm. and you know what's interesting like Nella's going through the exact same thing like I've, I've been seeing Nella's comments and if you pair my if you look at my comments and you look at Nella's comments they're exactly the same she's really? jarring she's di like as I was looking at co comments about Nella it was almost like I was going through the first day of my wow. comments um, she's doing um, I'm, a celeb. I'm a celeb and it's honestly it's mirror to mirror the same i can't stand her she's jarring she's this she's that right you now start to see that there's a wider problem mm. agreed and it's it's not it's nothing to do with me personally no individually but it's who and what i represent mm -hmm. that is the issue to mm -hmm. mainstream media yeah so in a sense as much as i feel for nella she can't see it right now but as much as i feel for nella it did give me a sense of peace that this is not 
a direct it's not an isolated it's not thing. isolated this thing because is... i'm telling you you go on Nella's comments now and you pair mine together they are the sack they they are the same so girls will be reading your comments and feeling that way about you as well so you have to remember that in like a silver lining of it you're bringing that feeling that you read when you were getting mm. Nella's. Yeah. you're bringing that sense of relief to other girls as yeah. well so like it's all about what you do with it now and like how I you agree. go about this and how you change the narrative and show who you really are and that will help so many other girls that's, as well. That's 100%. such a good point, because in the same way that you look at Nella, as we all do, as this guru creator, she is vibes, she mother, is yeah. everything mm-hmm. that you want in somebody. Like, she's entertainment, she's it. And in the same way that you looked at that and it gave you a sense of peace, knowing this isn't a me problem. Yeah. This is a socio problem that we need to address. We need to address. This is crazy. In the same way that you're saying, Shans, another creator who's coming up and trying what you're trying might be looking at you like, okay, wow, look at the adversity that she's facing. It's Let's see what me. she does with that. Yeah. This yeah. is not just me experiencing that. Somebody as big as Madame Joyce is experiencing it, you know? Yeah. Like, I do agree. And I'm proud I'm proud of everyone. I'm proud of every woman on this couch. Mm. I said every woman. Girl, there's only three of us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud, honestly, I'm proud of us. Everyone and I'm in proud, the room. Everyone in yeah. the room. I'm proud that we were able to, to represent the people that love us. I'm mm-hmm. glad that there's not many girls like us on these platforms going through experiences and sharing it publicly. Mm-hmm. So I'm just proud that we were able to do that and hopefully inspire some people. But guys, I can't lie. It's been fucking hard. <laughs> but you know what? We're going to laugh about this in two weeks. Yeah. Because mm. after this episode, I don't care to ever speak about it again. Okay. Well, there, there you go. <laughs> there it's done. Go. It's, we're yeah. nipping that in the bud. We're nipping it in the bud. We still got a reunion, but when No, <laughs> but also, no, it's important to talk about that. Yeah. It is. It is important. And like, just the way you've dealt with it is and I know that you're saying that you're, you're struggling and that's good to talk about as well, like saying that you are struggling and everything. But like, mm. I I still think that you're incredibly strong for even like coming on and still doing this mm-hmm. and like still carrying on with your job and your life and everything like that. Like obviously you're still going out to events, still going for lunch and everything like that. Even though you don't think those are big things, those are big things. Yeah. Just with everything you're going through, those mm-hmm. are big things. I would be not nowhere like i'd not be found i'd fall off, I'd fall off the a face shell. of the earth yeah so for you to still carry on the way you're going is a big thing and also and don't girl, let yourself you think have otherwise. to yeah. yeah you have to keep going yeah because then what, what? then what that girl, what are we doing you've this built for? all of this, this for nothing exactly for them to we bring gotta you down keep absolutely going. not you have yeah. to but guys honestly I, I love you to my core and everybody that voted for me i i love you and everybody that supports us everybody that supports mm-hmm. me everybody that's been fighting for me in the comments that have been cussing people back <laughs> <laughs> i've been seeing it and i and i love and appreciate you but I've never had it. I don't think I've had an episode like this in a long time, and I, and I kind of hate that because this this show is about energy and vibes and 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 just positivity. Mm. But unfortunately, we just had to address some things. But I'm glad I was able to share the space mm-hmm. with my sisters. So Ash, Shannon, thank you so much. Where the fuck do we find you on the internet? I lo- <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck do we find us on the internet? Fuck like TikTok, t- Ash it- underscore home, YouTube, Shannon mm-hmm. Langdon, yeah. Every Bumba Club place is You're on YouTube now too. Club, another club, <laughs> taxi, <laughs> tour bus. Everywhere, we Lucy. everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> in it. You guys are so dumb. Oh, guys, we love you. We I, love you. I love we you. Really Honestly, do. thank you so much for being here. And guys, we are going to be back next week. With better energy. <laughs> and another bad boy or another bad girl. It's been a pleasure, guys. Look after yourselves. Mwah. Thank you. Yeah. We love you, sister.